Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns. Welcome to 333 Magic 9, your astrology channel. And I'm here in Times Square in the middle of Manhattan because this is where the new year begins. And it's going to be a very exciting new year with a lot of planetary action. And here's what that'll mean for you. Mercury transits for 2015. Pisces, Mercury goes retrograde three times this year. The first time is from January 20th through February 11th. It's in Aquarius and your 12th house, so unusual ideas and confused feelings should not be trusted. You must clarify before you take action. The second time is from May 18th through June 11th in Gemini and your 4th house. Too much talk and disruptive action can throw family matters and career matters into confusion. Don't let that happen. The third time is from September 17th through October 9th in Libra in your eighth house. So you need to take some time to understand exactly what your partners need. You need to be nurturing and caring. Venus transit for 2015. Pisces, Venus, the goddess of love, shines her light on you from January 28th through February 21st. Now, it's an excellent time to deepen your commitment to the people that you love. She'll also shine her light on you from May 8th through June 5th. That's when you can use your sensitivity to appeal to the spiritual side of your lover but she will retrograde from July 25th through September 6th. So, practice kindness and gentleness. Mars Transit for 2015. Pisces, Mars, the planet of action and desire is in your sign and first house from January 13th to February 20th. Now take advantage of your increased energy it can help you be more ambitious and expressive. <laughs> you can overcome obstacles that may have held you back personally. Now, he'll inspire you to take creative and romantic action from June 25th through August 8th when he is in cancer. His energy will help you turn on your charm and you may attract a gentle and satisfying love. Jupiter transit for 2015. Pisces, Jupiter starts the year going retrograde in your sixth house of health and work and the sign of Leo. Well, this is a really good time to change your diet and health patterns. If you need to go to a diet, do it. If you need to exercise, join a gym. You'll reap the benefits in health and you'll feel better, especially after April 8th and work will pick up. He will move into Virgo and your seventh house of partnerships on August 11th. You'll have opportunities to strut your stuff, so make sure you're ready to put on a good show. Cooperation will be important, as are public relations initiatives. Love and trust can bring new warmth into your life. Saturn Transit for 2015 Pisces, Saturn, the Lord of Karma, moves into Sagittarius and your 10th house of career for the first time in 29 years. Now, you need to examine your ability to gain power and recognition in your career or social situation. Effective action is rewarded, but you must, have, you must know how to manage your energy and the energy of others. Now, he'll retrograde back into your ninth house of the higher mind and beliefs from June 16th through September 19th when he goes back into Scorpio. You must take time to review the lessons that you've learned concerning your values. Are your personal ambitions in line with society's values or must you make some changes and adjustments? Do so now, for now you move to the future. Uranus squared Pluto, the final square, 2015. Pisces, Uranus, the planet of chaos, 
<laughs> and Pluto, the planet of death and resurrection, will make their final square on March 17th. Uranus has brought change energy to your second house of personal resources for the past few years. He has given you the energy and the opportunity to become more effective by developing your talents. This has brought you freedom from fear and economic want. The final square to Pluto in your 11th house will help you judge the true value of social or business organizations. You will seek out people and organizations that have proven their social worth. Then you can join them to better your corner of the world. Neptune Transit 2015 Pisces, Neptune brings his subtle and creative energy to your first house, and he's your ruling planet. This is an important time to listen to the more subtle side of your personality. You have the power to influence others with your magnetic charm and flair for the dramatic. Now, Neptune is retrograde from June through November, so do not deceive or manipulate yourself or others. Now these were just general predictions based on your sun sign. If you'd like more accurate predictions based on your time, date, and place of birth, just go to my website, professorastrology.com, and there you'll go to the personal services page, and you can order a transit chart which will tell you what's coming for you for the next 12 months. I'd like to thank you for watching. I'd like to thank you for listening. Please share these videos with your friends because they're free. And I hope you have a fabulous new year.